Okay, so hello everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to your next tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be hopefully finishing off the collision. Okay, so to begin the tutorial, we're going to go to the top of our, our tile class. <clears throat> and we're going to add a Boolean call on tile. And when we set the tile, we're going to um, put on tile is equal to false. Okay, and for the <coughs> for the entity right here, we're going to make a boolean <coughs> for activate gravity, so we can set it. Uh, so we'll say set activate gravity equals to value. <coughs> And uh, we'll need something for our sink, <coughs> sink tile position. Uh, so we will need a get and set for this. So sink and set for sink. Okay, so we got that stuff set. So let's go back to tile.cs. Okay, so now let's go down here. So if there's a bottom collision, then what we want to do is reset the player's positions. We're going to say player position is equal to new vector 2, player.position.x, and then position.y, subtract player.animation.frame height. Okay? So that will give us the proper position on the platform. We want to set the activate gravity equal to false, so there's no gravity, and set on tile equal to true. If there is a bottom collision, and I think there's something we got to change the entity class as well. So for velocity, we have to be able to set our velocity. So let's just say velocity is equal to value. Uh, so let's go back to tile. So we're going to say that player.position is equal to new vector 2 player.position.x position dot y plus layer dot tile dimensions dot y and we got to set our velocity equal to zero so new vector two player dot velocity dot x and we'll set that value to zero and we'll say activate uh, gravity is equal to true okay so <coughs> we got the stuff that that happens when we collide right and what we want to do at the bottom right here is we want to say player dot uh, animation position is equal to player dot position okay so we want to put that right there so we got stuff done but we need to whenever we're on our tile we need to be able to follow uh our we need to be able to follow our platforms or whatever if they're moving per se okay and uh this is how we're going to go about that so what we're gonna do right here we're gonna say if not player dot sync tile position then we're going to say player dot position plus equals velocity and we only have velocity for here as well so we got to do that as well a lot of stuff that we got to do so we got to put velocity here uh right here we'll in the load cont in the set tile we'll set velocity to vector two zero And then w with our moving tiles, instead of having position there, we'll just highlight all of this. What just happened? Not sure what just happened. Okay, I'll just type it out. So we'll just change this to velocity. If I could spell velocity. Okay, so change that. Ch 
change that and instead of plus equals we just change the equals so equals negative move speed and change the negative move speed as well down here <coughs> sorry and then we will put uh position plus equals velocity and we can take this from down here just cut this and we can put this right here okay so what we're gonna say is that if sync tile position then we're gonna say player plus equals velocity and then we're gonna set player sync tile position equal to true now why do we do this the reason why we do this is like so say you're on the middle of two tiles and this should be sorry it should be if on tile and then if we're on tile then we do this now say we're say we're in between two tiles we're stepping on in between two tiles it's gonna execute the tile movement twice right we don't want that to happen we only want it to happen once per update right if we're on a tile so this is when the sync tile position comes in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our player.cs and at the top of it the update will always set sync tile position equal to false okay and then so once equal to false then when we when we go to our um to our update then if we're on a tile then it will run this set this to true so we'll only be able to run it for one tile and it's on and so forth so that is um essentially how it's gonna work so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna say that if the player is off the tile then we're gonna set on tile equal to false so we're gonna say that um, we're gonna say that if player wrecked dot uh Let's say right is less than rect dot left. Uh, and or we could put or player dot rect dot left is greater than rect dot right. Um, or we will just say if player dot player rect dot bottom is not equal to rec dot top then we'll set on tile equals a false and we'll say player activate gravity equals to true okay so that should be set up in the right manner hopefully everything works according to plan so now it's a sorry it's just a matter of executing our code so uh, let us build this. There's gonna be errors. I just want to build it so I can find the errors faster So let's go to a layer dot CS now remember we have to put the player in the parameters So put player in there and This should be a reference to the player. So we need to go back to our tile class tile dot CS and put ref the reason why it needs to be a reference is because we're actually going to be modifying the player's position and such like that. So we need to, it needs to be a reference. So we got that down and I'm going to build it again just to find the next error. And so in our map.cs, we need to take in a player as well. Make it a reference. ref player and in our gameplay screen as well so we're gonna put ref player now let's build it one more time let's see what are the errors we got uh oh so it actually went through properly so let's run this so right now when we're running it our gravity isn't activated so it's not actually activating our gravity so let's see so we said that if activate gravity is true then that so let's see if we actually set activate gravity to true so we do in our load content method so there is uh something there is something going wrong so i'm going to pause this and see what's going wrong 
I believe I know the reason being now is because this was commented out. Okay, so let us... <laughs> I'm going to stop debugging that. Comment this out. And let's see if this works now. So we got an unhandle. So for our spreadsheet animation that we did before, we never made an instance of it. So right here, we can just make an instance of it. So we'll just say SS animation equals the new spreadsheet animation. So right here, it's saying uh, it's set to a null reference of the object. And I think I know why um, this is happening. So let us go to the spreadsheet animation class. So right here, we said that we're going against the frame width. This should be a dot frame width, right? And same with here as well. So a dot frame width, a dot frame height. And for right here as well, a dot frame width, a dot frame height. If we don't do that, then there's actually no image attached to the sprite sheet class, and therefore we're it's gonna return a null value. So there go there we go. Our player just dropped. We're in our game world. We jump. We can land on the platform. We can land on any platform we choose. There's collision everywhere. Um, top collision, bottom collision. Now, <laughs> this is not the perfect type of collision. There will be bugs, right? It's not perfect, right? But it is. it should be good enough for our needs. See, as you can see, there it is kind of buggy, so it isn't perfect. You can add in um, those. You can you can do little stuff to get rid of those little bugs, right? But for us, for right now, we won't be doing that unless we're gonna be optimizing our code later on. Another thing you'll notice is if we keep on jumping like that, when the towel gets under there, we'll be able to jump on top of it like so, which we shouldn't be be able to do. But for the most part, we got everything uh, set up for the most part. So uh, I'm going to end the tutorial here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll probably get into like some screen scrolling and some enemies and stuff in the tutorial. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.